All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're uh, actually watching this. We're going to do uh, some partial fraction decomposition again, and this is now with a different case. This is case two. This is repeated linear factors. So you can see this problem here is 3x squared minus x minus 3 all over x squared plus 1. And the repeated linear factor is right here, the x squared. If it was just x, it'd be um, a linear term. But because it's x squared, it's repeated. It's x times x. And so what we're going to do is we're going to set this up slightly different and uh, see how this works out. So <clears throat> when we have repeated linear factors, we're going to put it over x to the first and x to the second. And then we have a third term, too, which is x plus 1. They're all linear. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a, b, and c there. Now that we have it set up, everything else is the same as it was. We're going to multiply both sides by our common denominator, which is x squared, x plus 1. Multiply this side by x squared, x plus 1. On the left side, everything cancels out, which is always nice. On the right side, this x will cancel with one of the x's, and so I'll actually have a times x times x plus 1. This x squared will cancel with this entire x squared, leaving us with b times x plus 1. And then this x plus 1 would cancel with this x plus 1, giving us c x squared. So now my entire right side denominators are canceled out. And what's going to happen now is I'm just going to distribute and, and simplify and group things together just like we have before. So a times x times x is ax squared. That's that part there. ax times 1 is ax. b times x is bx. b times 1 is b. And then we have cx squared out there. So looking at our terms, we have ax squared and cx squared. So those are my x squared terms. Then I have ax and bx. So I'm going to say plus ax plus bx. And then finally, I just have this constant term, which is plus b. Next step is to get the constants out or the coefficients out, I should say. So I'm going to say a plus c x squared plus a plus b x plus b. Over here on the right, I'm going to write out the 3x squared minus x minus 3, which was from the beginning. And here's the cool thing. All right, These are my con uh, coefficients of the x squared term. That's my coefficient for the x squared term. So I have a plus c equals 3. a plus b is my coefficient for the x term. You can't really see it, but there's a negative 1 there. So we're going to say a plus b equals negative 1. And then finally, b is my constant. And my constant over here is negative 3. Now even though this is a three equation, three variable system, we already know one of the variables. We know b is equal to negative 3. That's very helpful because I can say a plus negative 3 equals negative 1. I would add 3 to both sides and get a equals 2. Now that I have a equals 2, I can plug it into the top equation and say a 2 plus 3, or 2 plus c equals 3. Subtract 2 from both sides and get c equals 1. So now what I have is my a, b, and c values. So I'm going to go and look back up at the top. a is 2, so I put 2 over x. b is negative 3, so I'm going to say minus 3 over x squared. And then finally, c is 1, so I'm going to say 1 over x plus 1. And that is how you do repeated linear factors. Now I'm going to do one more example with this, and uh, that'll be on the next video. So enjoy, and good luck.